Hey. So we're here in uh, the super secret heaven on earth, Quesada aging room. Super secret, right guys? Yeah, very yeah. secret. Yeah. Top secret. Yeah. Everyone's been here apparently, so. <laughs> uh, but it's still a very special place. The aroma here is magical and uh, there's, how many cigars, like millions at least? Uh, just about. Just about. Mm -hmm. there's about. There's just about millions of cigars in here. <coughs> but how we got here, well, that's what you're gonna have to stay in your pretty little seat for, gentlemen and ladies. So, here we go. After a tasty smoke, it was time to get going. <laughs> Given the VIP treatment here, uh, <laughs> VIP guides, a go. lot of history here. It's like the Hall of History. Anyone recognize that young man in that frame right there? We're in the big house, headed to the factory now. Those weren't the only paintings that drew my attention. You can see these quasi-impressionist paintings of fields and curing barns that... Look at these broad strokes, that's just impressive. These paintings show that the Quesada heads are in the right place in their appreciation towards art in the making of an artisanal cigar. And it's not just cigars, it's also something else. Take a look at this. <laughs> Ooh, get you look. Can I see Eso Ooh, fancy. Wow. Now all the ashtrays were really cool. I wasn't talking about those that really impressed me. Check this out. Oh, office supplies here. Yes. And merch. Fans. Merch for the fans. Ah, para la bisagra, las yeah. bisagra. Cool. Yeah. They are one like a yeah, yeah, so we have a full box factory here, and we keep inventory of everything from bands, labels, uh, box seals, and everything. You know, you know, some factories would kill to have their own box factory. Uh, oh, we're yes. really proud about that. We're and, very proud about that. <laughs> and in fact, uh, we 100% uh, of production goes to everything go, that goes off the factory. With a really, really cool room. Uh, I know, I told you. Yeah, I really <laughs> like this. Guys, I've been to a couple cigar factories and this is really special. This is unique. There are not many manufacturers that basically assemble their own boxes in-house. They usually have someone else do it for them and there are specialized facilities for it. But what they're doing here is uh, even private labels. Yes. Yeah, indeed. And they're doing it for private labels too. So. Uh, Color me impressed. Is uh, this some sort of experimental uh, tobacco here? Yeah, so indeed, this is very rare and special <laughs> tobaccos that we're now experimenting with. Let's see how that goes for a 2024 project or something. Insomniac, should I smoke this? Keep an eye out. Can you please let everyone know how the boxes are made? Boxes are made with love. <laughs> Having your own cigar box factory is a pretty big deal because you assemble everything to your specifications in-house with your people, your tools, your everything. And they basically Henry Forded the operation of making a box. Every single person does their own thing. It's a single step process for each person and uh, pretty straightforward. They even get to listen to their own music. Now, let's tune into what this guy's listening to. The 
stripping department right now. Don't get confused by that. Here the ladies are taking the vein out and classifying tobaccos by sizes, specifically pillars. And if I'm not confused, we're uh, at the moment working with Criollo 98. So, stripping department, but not what you think. <laughs> These ladies are strippers. <laughs> And they are very good at their job. <laughs> oh yeah, they are. I'm proud to say that the, all these women here saw me when I was a little girl coming here. So they've been working here for a long, long time. When were you a little girl? <laughs> Just about two years ago. Not that much. <laughs> The common theme I'm noticing with the workers is that a lot of them have been working for many, many years at Quesada. They've really earned their workers loyalty and I think it's because this is just a really relaxing environment to work in. And you guessed it, they're jamming their own tunes here too. Now I know what you're thinking. Mac, that's really cool and all, it, it actually is, but... I'm here to see some cigars being made. Well, ladies and gentlemen, so am I. Here are the cigar makers, La Galera, as we call it in our industry. This is where the magic happens. Oh, the magic happens. <laughs> so what she's saying is that when 20 years ago when she started here I was the one that filled out her file when she started working here so that means that I'm probably working here for more than 20 years too <laughs> if you could tell me by reading one of these tickets which cigar which brand is it and it is the trick that these are written in Lice Spanish or that <laughs> these are really secret blends? No, it's because you would never guess. No one that comes in here knows which brands are being made. Oh, it's because so they have codes. They're encrypted. Yep, they're encrypted. I is that a Cody? <laughs> so the only way I would know is if I can decrypt that. And ladies and gentlemen. In my other life, I was a detective. Not necessarily a good one, but I was a detective. So we can we can, we can negotiate. S O K. Okay, um, I'll give you an S, and you give me uh, what that stands for. Yep, nobody knows. Nobody knows. If I look at the cigar, will I be able to know? No. Nope. Do you know? I do. I do. I know all the codes in this room. By heart. By heart. <laughs> Literally. Literally. I he believe knows. you. I believe you. Do you know all the codes oh, in this no. room? Trust me. You need to be here for a little bit more time to you understand need, all the codings. <laughs> you oh, need wow. to teach you. Is there a system to them or are they just assigned? Uh, they're, they're just assigned. They're just assigned. Oh, that makes it very difficult. Because <laughs> if there were a system to it, like X is Y. Yeah, yeah exactly. But it's kind of tricky here. Yeah. I know these it are these are the Robusto. Oh, that is. <laughs> that the one, size, yes. Right. <laughs> and the wrapper, this is the wrapper, right? Yeah. But then you, could, you, you may know, like, what the is size. Do I know what it is? CLE. No, it's C slash E. So it's Connecticut. Connecticut, Ecuador. Ecuador. <laughs> Got it. But then you would never know. You just decoded Cameroon. something here. Yeah. <laughs> Cameroon, HBA. Yeah, exactly. Connecticut. But then you would never know the brand. Mm. What if it's a distinguished Vitola that I could recognize anywhere? Well, a Robusto, I, I bet, is not so, so distinguished. So let's say, <laughs> let's say a barber pole, right? Oh. I know. You, you got us right there. <laughs> but you, you, you're going to have to find one. So I need to find a barber pole first. That, that, that's going to be it. My dad would say, smart ass. Oh. <laughs> you're a smart ass. OK. This is fun. Come along, guys. This is fun. Ooh, 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 these are pigtails, which means 
And with a quick Google search, all I need to do <laughs> no, even I guess. Oh, because it's a private label? Maybe. May <laughs> Liga F word. Jeez. <laughs> Liga F word. <laughs> For fabulous. <Yes. laughs> For fiddlesticks this time. Oh, man. See, a million cigars. Oh, I found the barber pole. Oh, you did? Yeah. And it even says barber. Oh, well, that's yeah, yeah. Th that's a quite easy guess. Yeah, well, that's that's but that's one out of like. Yeah, I. So but ones. did I win the challenge? Mm, a little bit. <laughs> uh, I, I get two points out of five. Oh, yeah, okay. Two points out of five. One and a half. <laughs> one. And, that's. But is that better than most people? Yeah, totally. So. Ladies and gentlemen, my old life as a detective. <laughs> there you go. Even though not a good one, paid off. Yeah, so, nice. this has been a lot of fun. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, for, thank you so much for uh, letting me mess around in your factory, touch stuff, poke people, and, uh, and smoke cigars. And smoke good cigars. Is. And good, see where the magic happens. They are good cigars, and, and the the constant theme I'm seeing here is, it's, it's not like, oh, we make them with love, as in. They're talking about it. They really are made with with a lot of love and affection. You could really see the the care put into every single uh, empuño, being weighed, looking at every single gram, and carefully making sure that that cigar is perfect. Man, that's a bit of love, isn't it? And uh, everything from the boxes to the sticks to the packaging packaging room that I won't get to see because why? It's top secret at the moment. <laughs> we keep we keep a lot of secrets. <laughs> but none of them are in the aging room because the aging room itself is uh, secret. Indeed. Because it's tough to crack. It, it really it really is really cool to look at all these encrypted cigar tags. But that's been it, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for coming along. Wave away, guys. Thank you so much to the Casala team. Look for Liga F in your December packs. Peace, guys.